Over in the UK, the COVID-19 inquiry is getting down to brass tacks, examining the political decisions making of Boris Johnson's government during the pandemic and scrutinising the actions taken in combating the virus. Decisions that led to the imposition of the three national lockdowns and the regional restrictions, measures such as working from home, the reduction of contact and the use of face coverings will be examined. And the chair, Baroness Heather Haddett, has said that those who suffered during the pandemic would be at the heart of the inquiry. This now is the fifth time I have raised the issue of complete, uh, uh, raised the issue of the complete absence of a COVID inquiry in this country. The first time was 16 months ago, when, in my naivety, I took it for granted that such sweeping interventions into public life would be subject of some critical appraisal in hindsight. More fool me to expect that the Chief Medical Officer and Neffet and the Government Cabinet, who handed over the reins of the country to them, would ever deign to admit that there were any mistakes to learn from. The writing really was on the wall when the Government wound down its one and only COVID committee competently chaired by Deputy McNamara on the 8th of October 2020, smack bang in the middle of the pandemic. The role of the committee was to consider and take evidence on the state's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Neffet had to be dragged kicking and screaming in front of them to answer a few questions. An acquired word must have been had because the order to wrap it up all up came soon thereafter. And the Cabinet realised it was inconvenient that there should be such a forum for parliamentarians to which it would be responsible. Vaccinations were pushed on to children when the data in doing so was inconclusive. We now know of at least one death that has resulted from that. Who knows how many more there may be. And now we're on, the, we're on to the next thing. And I'm sure it is the desire of the Government that sure we'll all just let go bygones be bygones and sweep it under the carpet and not talk about it, and that in years to come, when we talk of COVID, there will be no lessons learned, no recognition of mistakes made or accountability for such. We'll all just shake our heads and say, sure, that was an awful, wasn't it? And continue glidely on.